I wanted to show a video here how to diagnose a bad scroll compressor partial capacity and you don't see that too often so look on the thermal okay so you can see we only got you know very little gas on two circuits so you would think this unit is either way overcharged or it's way under capacity. Show you some comparisons here. Here's another unit. So there's your normal dissipating the heat and then liquid towards the bottom there. Normal. You can see it's got low subcooling. Here's a unit that's out of Freon. You can actually hear the check valve rattling because it doesn't have enough refrigerant flow. Keeps the check valve open. So back to this unit. Okay, so we got low capacity. It's a two ton. I did load calculation. It's doing 3,000 BTUs, so it's only running at 15%. I've also adjusted the refrigerant charge. It just lost cooling a day ago, and uh, so something's happened. I adjusted the charge because the subcooling was up about 20 degrees. I lowered the subcooling down to four still same thing super low capacity so the ultimate test is going to be a pump down and uh, see what this compressor does uh, with the pump down now a lot of compressors do have a relief valve internally and you can only get a 410a you know down to like 40 pounds but let's try a pump down on this and see what we get so we have our suction 139 I had to take out a lot of charge because it was at 150 to get the suction to drop to that. Now let's start our pump down, shut off our liquid, and let's see what our compressor can go down to. down worked really well with piston compressors. Let's see what we get with a scroll compressor. With piston you can easily tell when you lost a cylinder because uh, you'd get leakage on the piston compressors. You'd pump it down, shut it off, and watch the suction bounce back up. Scrolls don't have uh, valves they have the one check valve. So the hold down test isn't gonna tell you anything on a scroll, but a flow test will tell you. So, compressor's running. You can hear it running, not pumping down. So on this scroll, we got something happening inside of it. Either the plates separated, sometimes there's a seal that's made out of plastic. LG's had them out of plastic. That seal wears out and you get gas leaking through the plate. So, it's starting to pump down a little bit, but it would be a lot faster than this normally. Let's sit here and watch it, see what it does. I mean, I would expect to go down to 40. Actually, I've seen a lot of scrolls I can go down to zero. It all depends on the design. Does it have that internal relief valve from the high side to the low side? 
this one's not pumping. I mean, it's, it's I measured 15% capacity. I'll show you on the spreadsheet that I use, and that's it basically you measure the airflow and you do your wet bulb, wet bulb in, wet bulb out, and I'm just reading 3,000 BTUs. sweating now. It's pumping a little bit, but I should be either at zero now or I should be hearing that relief valve popping and it's hard nothing. So what's happening is the compressor is leaking just as fast as it's pumping. You know, it's leaking back from the high side to the low side. So I took this scroll apart and everything seemed normal with it. Wear on the scroll, normal. This compressor was barely pumping. I didn't see any problems with the bearing. And so why did it not pump? Well, I found out why. It's the relief valve. Right there, and it goes from the high side. Oh, I also checked the check valve. Right there. It goes from the high side to the low side, because the low side is the motor. The outside there. Relief valve is wide open. And you check that. Put a little hose on it. like so and then on the other end just blow through with your mouth As you can hear it's running you see what broke in that relief valve so it looks like something made that ball get stuck Either it got debris that made the ball get stuck or the entire piston got stuck and was raised. So either way that relief valve got stuck open and that's what lowered the capacity on the compressor. Cause, uh, Basically, it was just recirculating hot gas back to the suction. And interesting thing, and I called the factory, they said check the discharge temperature for 220 degrees. Uh, I did check that on the old compressor I had, on this compressor I had 214. So it was a little low on discharge. But when you're feeding hot gas back to the suction, it makes your art discharge artificially high anyway. So that's probably not a good test on this compressor. It's better to do the pump down test because when you have an open relief valve like that, pump down, you're not gonna get any sort of decent pump down. Even though it's normal for scrolls to not pump down below 50 pounds. All right, so we got a new compressor now. You can see the suction. Went from 175 to 108. thermal now you can see quite a bit more of the condenser now it has the gas refrigerant in it and our amps went up a little bit too so that's how you tell when you got a scroll which is partially damaged and another thing that would have been good, it's a little bit noisy up here, but if you have a quieter spot, if you kill the power, you could listen for that relief valve. It would probably be whistling, but obviously I could not hear that up here with all these units. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.